Hi guys! We will now proceed to our next topic which is functions in JavaScript. So if we will talk about function in JavaScript, um, by the way, the function, it will allow us to define a block of codes. We can also um, give it a name or we can put a name on the function itself and then we can execute it as many times as we want. Okay, so if we are going to use function in JavaScript, please take note of this um, keyword or this, um, this reserve word. You need to use a function, okay? And if you can see it here, this is actually the syntax um, of declaring a function in JavaScript. Um, in defining a function, of course, you need to start with function keyword, then your function name. Please consider um, putting a function name as a variable name, okay? I know that I already shared with you guys what are the do's and the don'ts of um, of creating a variable name, um, it would be better if you will also apply that one in putting your um, function name or in, um, in defining your function name, okay? So don't forget about this parentheses and also the curly braces. And you can actually put here your, um, your expressions or basically um, all the codes should be here, okay? So it's, it's really up to you if that is an arithmetic type of statements or an expression or it's really, it really depends on the program itself. And also, um, there are some JavaScript, um, there are some functions that needs to have a semicolon and also there are some that it doesn't need. But for now, it, for us to be safe, it's better to put a semicolon, okay? So this is, this part is actually the part wh where we actually um, define our function okay this is the part where we define our function in this part this is where we call our function basically all you need to do is to put the function name then the parentheses and as well the semicolon that's for function calling okay so let's proceed in giving you an example so we have example number one. So let me show first my Visual Studio code. So for our example number one, um, I will create a function that will um, display uh, or that will alert hello world. Okay, so let me create a file here. One moment. Um, don't worry because um, I will be um, saving all of the files and I will be sharing this one to you guys. Okay, one moment. This is example, oh, sorry, function one dot HTML. Oh, sorry, function x1. Okay, so here in the body, for example, I would I wanted to put a JavaScript or um, H1 tag that will show um, JavaScript function there. Then after that, I can just now put the script tags. Then I can now put the function here. So again, you need to use a function keyword, then you can create right now your preferred function name. So my preferred function name, it's for example, it's show message, then parentheses, then curly braces. After the curly brace, um, you, can, you can put here your alert, for example, uh, window.alert the alert or alert itself that would be okay hello world semicolon so after that um after um creating or um d defining your function um this is where the part that i will um call my function so like that 
so I will save it again and I will try to run this code one moment I'm checking on it it's here so if I will refresh my code there so the hello world um, alerted um, and it actually prompted my on my web browser then when I click OK the h1 tag or the JavaScript function which is inside the h1 tag earlier displayed okay so let's proceed to our next uh, one moment uh -huh, I believe that okay there you go mm -hmm. good job we're already done with this part so all we need to do now it's to proceed with our next example so for our next example one moment okay so for our next example which is example number two um, I will let the user um, input something or I will let the user enter his or her name then I will create a function that will display the inputted name of the user okay so let's open again or pull up again the on um, my one moment my visual studio code i'll just need to control n mm -hmm. i will save this function x2 dot html okay here so i will put inside a body again then i'll put the h1 the h1 here um, again on javascript function still <coughs> that contains this one then i can now put my script there so inside my script i will now um, create a variable um, variable name um, that will ask the user to input is um, his or her name okay so after that I will now create a function function message the function message the purpose of this is to um, prompt or to display the um, to display hello world then um, it will call the value inputted by the user in the name variable okay so I will put here one moment um, hello world then plus I will call the variable name I will plus again so that I can put a uh, sorry an ex um, exclamation point then close the parentheses then semicolon so since you're done with that of course I need to call again the value uh, sorry I need to call again the function so that it will show this is again this is for calling the um, function name okay I'm done defining the function name I'm also done calling it. I'm also done letting the user input something here by using um, this um, code. So if I will run this code, I forgot the semicolon here. But actually, um, you, you may or may not remove the semicolon here. But for now, I just need to put the semicolon so that we have a consistent, uh, we have consistency. So let me okay one moment okay it's here so for example um, enter your name uh, my name is Ivana so when I hit enter or click OK button there hello world Ivana click OK so JavaScript function still here okay hopefully um, you've learned a lot from our two examples this time we will proceed with um, our 
third example. Okay, so for our third example, um, it would still be the same. Um, I will let the user um, enter his or her name, then I will be using a button. Okay, so when you say button again, uh, we will use an input type which is a button. Okay, I know that I already discussed an input types before. So this time I will let um I will help you refresh your um refresh this topic. Okay? So let me open my Visual Studio code again. Mm -hmm. One moment and I will save it. Um this is function example three dot html. Okay, um, I will be putting here the head. Inside the head, I will be creating a script here. So, inside the script, um, I'll be creating an hello function. The purpose of this function is to um, ask the user to input his or her name. One moment, enter your name then oh i forgot the as um quotation mark then document that right then put here hello comma I'll put plus here so that i can call the name plus again so that i can put an exclamation point and semicolon so since I'm done putting the function inside the head, I will now go to the body itself. In the body, I will now put the input type where um, uh, this is where I can uh, I can let the user input. Oh, uh, sorry, I can let the user and um, click the button. So once the user click the button it will basically call the function hello and it will ask for um, his or her number okay uh, sorry his or her name so let's proceed so again if you will try to use an input type you need to use a form form tag right so form tag then after that put the input then type I know that some of you here are used to using submit but for now I'll be using a button then on click the purpose of the on click is for us to call we can actually put the um, the function name here okay so call hello then uh, we can put the value here the purpose of the value this is where you can, uh, this is actually the label of your button. So for example, I know that you're used to seeing a label um, log in, right? So for now, I will just put here, click me. Okay, so close that one. Then let's see, there you go. Okay, so I will try to save this one. So if you can see my code, Again, um, I have a separate code for um, uh, my JavaScript. Basically, my JavaScript is inside my head here in my head tag. Then my form or my input type, it's outside the head. It's actually inside the body. So first thing that the user will, uh, will encounter when I run this program, he or she will be able to see this button that will say click me okay so after that one um, once the user clicked the button it will appear enter your name then after entering your name it will display um, hello the name okay let's try and run this code one moment okay there you go so you can see the click me button so if you will click that there it's actually asking for your name so for example 
my name again it's um jess a run if you will click okay there you will be able to see here or actually the name that i entered earlier was displayed hello jess aaron are we good perfect 